Okay, hi guys, and welcome to a new episode. Well, it's been quite a long time since my last review, and I really apologize about that. But uh, it feels really good to be back, and I'm really looking forward to the next reviews. Hope you are too. For today, I'm going to present you a knife made by a French maker called Gilles Victor. And uh, he's quite a young maker, actually. Uh, which really surprised me the first time I met him because seeing his knives I assumed he was in his 50s or something like that. I'll leave a link in the description below to an interview of him where he talks about him, about his uh, making process but the problem is that it's in French so I'm really sorry if you don't speak French. <laughs> um, I'll just say a few words about him. So basically he really loves the idea of working with uh, materials and fire. He could have become a glass blower or a ceramist, for example, uh, but he happened to become a knife maker and a blacksmith, by the way, just because he always had a knife in his pocket. He used to make mainly friction folders and slip joints, but these last few years he's been trying to increase his level of craftsmanship and uh, he's been focusing on these interframes style knives, either uh, liner locks or uh, back locks. And uh, I must say that his progression has been really amazing. He's the kind of guy that is never completely satisfied and always try to do better. So uh, every new knife he makes is even more amazing than the previous one. So I'm definitely gonna keep an eye on his work and we might be surprised in the next few years. So, that being said, let's take a closer look to the knife. First thing you notice are the mother of pearl inlays uh, and the yellow color that is not very common. I don't see it often on knives. Uh, I don't know if it's because it's more rare, uh, more difficult to find or because it's... Uh, maybe makers just don't like the, the look of it. But this color I really don't see very often. And I think on this knife, it looks really nice. So it's very kind of yellow, creamy uh, color, but you also have some greenish and purplish uh, reflections in it, but I'm not sure the camera will catch that. But yeah, it looks beautiful. The main part of the handle the base is made of titanium, which is also something you don't see very often in art knives. Usually it's made of steel. Uh, and I really like the look of the titanium. Not only you have a light weight, but you also have a different color. The steel is a lot more white. And titanium there is a bit more uh, creamy, uh, grayish color and it's also less shiny than steel. Although it's polished, it doesn't shine as much as steel. There, it's not a bolster. It's actually a kind of hammered finish, but a very fine hammered finish. And it's a bit creepy, but it feels really nice. It's not too aggressive. The screw, the pivot screw there is uh, also hammered finish which makes it even more discreet and I like that there you've got just three little gold pins to bring a little bit of light so yeah now let's open the knife and as I said earlier he's also a blacksmith so he makes his own Damascus and he actually made this one. And I've never seen such a Damascus before. 
It's a kind of twist Damascus, but also looks a bit like an explosion Damascus. I don't know. I don't even know how it's made, but it looks really nice. It is mirror polished, so but not too shiny actually. Uh, and it makes the Damascus very discreet, which I like, and which goes with the overall theme of the knife. He actually told me that sometimes uh, when he makes Damascus, he's aiming for a particular pattern, but uh, sometimes he has surprises and uh, this was actually a surprise. So he's not even sure he will be able to make exactly the same Damascus again. And uh, yeah, just love the pattern, it's beautiful. Now, the shape of the blade is a kind of sheep foot uh, blade with a straight edge. You've got a flat grind. And the overall shape of the knife actually makes me think of a wing. So, uh, yeah, just think it looks beautiful. There's a lot of attention to details. Uh, on the back of the knife, you've got the same kind of hammered finish on the liners just there so there's a lot of work but it's discreet which is nice another detail there the spacer is hollow on the back which is also a nice touch as I mentioned, you've got these pins there. The inside has a kind of pearlage finish. You can probably see it just there. Ah, <laughs> difficult to see. But there's a pearlage finish just there. Uh, the liner there is also hammered finish which makes a beautiful grip to unlock the knife. It's really easy to grab, especially also because the liner is protruding a little bit over there. He also signs inside there, Gilles Victor. The spacer on the inside is polished. So yeah, beautiful knife. Blade centering is perfect. So yeah, that's it for that video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you like the knife. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, bye bye.